Good morning, Bridge family. It's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you about the sovereignty of God. The sovereignty of God and just how important it is that you have a biblical definition of sovereignty, of God, of good. You see, unless you have a biblical, biblical understanding of what the sovereignty of our God really is, the goodness of our God at all times, and his relationship to everything, including evil around us, you are going to be somewhere between deceived, distracted, or perhaps even brought to a place of despair. But it is the biblical sovereignty of Almighty God that brings to us the peace that passes all understanding, because in part, at least by definition, we've come to understand the power of Almighty Sovereign God. By the way, John chapter 1 tells us his name is Jesus. Now, here's what I'd like to deposit into your thought process and your heart today. I want you to realize that the sovereign God of the Bible is all that he says that he is. He meant all that he says that he meant, and he's fulfilling a mission that he's commissioned us to be a part of. And in this, I pray that you will see that your understanding of God has got to put him in one of three camps. He's either proactive, sovereign, providentially in control of all things, proactive, or he's reactive. There are people who think that God is constantly responding to what we do because he can't possibly know where we're going. That's a small g false God, the God that is reactive. Then there are others that think that God is inactive and he's just created this creation that we know and he's letting it go its course and he's inactive. He's not a active, sovereign, providential God. I want you to know that that is not true. This is not true. We have the one true sovereign God, the active, always in control, the all omni God. He's all places with all power, with all knowing and all love. And he's working all things together, all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes. Friends, you've got to get a biblical definition of sovereignty, a biblical understanding of God, and come to realize that the biblical explanation and definition of good is that which God deems to be reality. It's good because God says so and God does it. And whether or not our definition, our perception, our feelings, our preferences fit into that definition of good, frankly, it's immaterial because God doesn't need to fit into our definitions. We need to fit into God's biblical definitions. I pray that helps you. And if nothing else, it gives you more to think about and to pray through because the God of the Bible is the one true living, sovereign, providential, always good creator God. Amen and amen.